I've mentioned that there's really two different ways to attach this vertical. One way is actually to just take this flange fitting and slip it on here, tighten this down, and screw this directly into your ceiling. Uh, like I said, and then what you would do on the base is you would tighten that one down into the floor. And that's going to give you the stablest connection. Uh, if you want something that's a little bit more portable that you can move around, then uh, follow the method that I'm going to show you in the rest of this video. So uh, one of the other pieces that I have here is uh, this little round pad. You can see I just have a couple of pieces of masking tape here. And this is going to just, this is a nice little pad that I actually found at the home store. Um, this is a furniture moving pad. And I thought one of the cool things is it is exactly, precisely the right diameter. So it is just, it fits on there absolutely beautifully. I'll, uh, um, the, the brand of those pads I will uh, post on our, on our website just so that if you want to find those exact ones because they just, they just fit perfectly. Now, if you didn't find something that uh, fit perfectly, you could just you know, cut a circle out of foam rubber or, or some other uh, padding material. Just something to give you, um, you know, some protection between the bottom of this fitting and this so you don't damage your ceiling. And this is especially important, not so much when you're connecting directly, but when you're using this compression method. So the way that this works is, now again, I, another thing that I didn't quite plan, but works out wonderfully, is that uh, th this is a, a 3 8 inch rod. And uh, this uh, bolt that, go, that threads onto this absolutely fits perfectly into this pipe. It just sits in there. And so it, if, you, if you can see this, it just, you know, just kind of seats down in there. And what I would do is just kind of, you know, give it a few smacks with a hammer to make sure that, you know, it's seated in there nice and stable. And then what you want to do is you want to have another, uh, you want to have another bolt and then you want to have a lock washer and then you want to have this washer. And this washer is really important because what it is is this washer is bigger than this hole. And so this, this, this washer actually puts pressure against, uh, against the outside of uh, this, this uh, fitting right here. Now there's one other piece here that I want to show you. This is actually a rubber cork that I've drilled a hole in. And the reason I've done that, again, you know, this is, there's a lot of things that really worked out nicely with this project. Um, this is a one and three eighths, uh, one and three eighths rubber stopper. And look at that. Look at that fit inside there. It absolutely fits perfectly inside there. And the reason why I got this was because when I was doing this before, it was kind of sliding around in here when I was trying to tighten it down. And I didn't want that. So what I did is I drilled a hole in this rubber stopper. You just push the rubber stopper down onto the threaded rod, like so. And then you just feed it into the fitting. And then that way, when you're tightening this down, it actually um, doesn't wobble or anything. Okay, we've got our assembly down. I've obviously measured this all out ahead of time. Um, so when you go to do this yourself, there's gonna be some adjusting that you have to do. But what you do is you just kind of plant the pole on the bottom where you want it to be, slide it up into place. You wanna kind of get a basic fit and do, uh, you know, do some checking to make sure you're at level. Great. So what you can see here is I'm just tightening this bolt right here, and as I tighten that, it's pushing this fitting and this uh, padding up into the ceiling. So I just hand tighten that at first, and then uh, get out the wrench, tighten it down. And you can see, at this point, it's stable. And so uh, I've already attached my 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 place for where I'm going to slide in my laptop tray. And so I'm going to do that and we'll be ready to go.